Hello friends, good morning. This is Bupati and this is part 11 of our LinkQ series. In LinkQ, while filtering the result into your data table, if there is no such result or such row in the data table, then it will throw an error saying source contains no data row. In this video, we will see how can we overcome that error by filtering the result into two list and we can also use try catch block in the link you query so that if there is no row it will go to catch block and we can assign it some boolean value now let us see that demo i am reading the same invoice data we used in part 10 that is invoice data here I am going to check if there is invoice quantity containing product management. Actually there is no such invoice quantity. I will search product. There is no any invoice quantity containing product. I have written a simple link you query to check if the invoice quantity column contains product. I will change to product management and I am copying the result to a data table finally okay I have declared a temp data table and I am collecting the result into temp data table and displaying the result using message box now I will run it will throw the error source contain no data row because there is no such value product management in the invoice quantity column i'll run okay it is opened and let me close the invoice data excel stop rerun Now you can see in the left hand side output pen source contains no data row that is there is no such value called product management in the invoice quantity. So in this scenario that is if you are not sure whether the value will be existing in an uh, excel then the better option is you can copy the result into dot to list and then check the count and then you can decide whether it needs to be thrown as exception or proceed another option is you can just use try catch block for this particular assign okay if exception comes means in the catch block you can just assign some other assign activity and use the boolean value this is also an another option but you should be careful when you directly copy the value into another data table that is when you copy the result into an another data table data must exist then only it will proceed otherwise it will throw error source contains no data row error now what i am going to do means finally dot instead of copy to data table i will use to list okay enter now i will click on okay I will show you what is the difference. Now it is throwing an error. Cannot assign from system.collections.generic.list to system.data.data table. Okay, it is returning collection of list, but here we are trying to get the result into data table. So it will not work. Now we will create another variable list invoice data okay we are going to declare system if you are not sure which data type to be selected you can see in that alert itself it will clearly tell you can see now system.collections.data dot 
generic dot list of system dot data dot data row this should be your variable type okay if you are not sure you can get that information from this pop up itself now i'll go back to browse for type system dot collections dot generic dot list system dot data dot data row okay okay now here instead of data table list invoice data now what i am going to do means i will put if condition i will check the count if list invoice data dot count greater than 0 greater than 0 then I can say data exist I'll use one more message box here project management value does not exist now the difference is when you collect the value dot to list it will not throw any error if there is no such value called product management in the invoice quantity column so instead of copying it to data table i am copying it dot to list i will show the query you can see the last we are copying the result into to list and here also left side we have changed the variable type okay and then in the next step I am just checking the count if it is greater than 1 then we can say product management value exist if no if there is no if it is gets false then it comes to else part it will show product management value does not exist then output data table as usual we are displaying the result in message box now i will run so it's a product management i'll run it will say there is no value called product management see product management value does not exist now what i will do i'll just use hardware management instead of product management i'll use hardware we know there are four rows of hardware management in the invoice data excel sheet now i will run it will be four count will be four so it will come to the then block it will say hardware i will run hardware management value exist if in case if you are not using dot to list and wish to use dot copy to data table then as i said earlier you can surround this with try catch block that is like this and in the exception part you use some boolean value use one more assign activity here you can use boolean value like bool value invoice exist and then you can assign it as true or false okay and based on this boolean value also you can make decisions here in the if conditions instead of using the count property okay okay this is how you should handle to avoid source contains no data error error thank you friends in the next video we will see with another link query if you like this video please subscribe and support our channel thank you